Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the Vermi Bag Mini. I'm going to do an update on the Mini and the Max today. So I had put this kind of glossy printed newspaper across the top to try to hold in a little bit of moisture because this system breathes so well. So I wanted to see how they were getting along. Look at how gorgeous these castings are. I see a orange, but they're still working into, and you can see all of those springtails around it, but there's more underneath. Looks like a food here. Look at all those springtails, it's crazy. working their way into that orange, it looks like. I'm gonna pull up this ball of worms down here, show you guys. The springtails are a little bit unsightly, but they're not dangerous, so I really don't worry a whole lot about it. And the worms are just all over this sweet potato still. It's still taking some time, it looks like, to break down. But they are completely into it. It's just loaded. Loaded with worms. Look at that. All the way into the bottom. Doesn't get much better than that. I'm quite pleased, um, but they still do have a bit of food in here, and I was a little bit late on my update, so I didn't anticipate that. And I do think I'm still going to give them a little feeding today, encourage them to move up a little bit higher, because I want to do a harvest soon. The level has dropped down a lot, but you need to kind of keep it going. So I'm going to kind of level the surface out. I'm leaving this food back here because I'm going to move it in with my feeding and first I'm going to lay down some dry shredded cardboard not a lot because this system breathes so well I don't want it to get too dry but I'm just going to put a decent little layer here I'm going to move our food items up top here. I'll spread some of this dry cardboard out so this kind of nestles in because we want it to stay moist or the worms won't be able to work on it. And so I have an idea to keep it moist. I have an extremely wet feeding. Um, I had a overabundance of food lately so I blended and got quite the array. And I'm gonna feed pretty heavily up top here because the moisture will really help this system. And I'm going to mix it up, but I wanted to get a good bit in there first. Now I'm just going to spread all of this moist food all around. Poor worms, I just poured food all over them, but I'm sure they'll be just fine with it. Put a little castings over them so it doesn't disturb them too much. And I'm going to put some of my dry mix in here. I mixed up some more, I was running low. Just try to be really healthy with it. it acts as a pH buffer and grit source for the worms to break down the food in their gizzard. 
Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top it off with some bedding. I'm not going to put that in the video just because I don't want this to get too long and I am going to go over to the Vermi Bag Max. So I'm going to top it off with some more dry cardboard. I'm going to moisten it all down and put the cover back on. But let's hop over and take a look at the Vermi Max. All right, guys, here with the Vermi Bag Max. Let's take a peek. I did look in on this the other day and it has dried out a lot. So uh, I'm going to do a similar feeding with this bin today as well. Um, lots of moist food. But first I'm just going to remove some of these non-breathable papers that I put up on top and just set these to the side for a second. And I've got some flies in here. All right, let me set these down. <clears throat> I'm going to get my lamp. Quite a few flies, yuck. All right, so the good news is I didn't see any of these flies, which you can probably see now everywhere. Those are all um, fungus gnats, it looks like. And you can just see, it looks like a lot of this stuff in here has just really, really dried out. I will set out some fly traps when I'm done. Because even though there's a lot of them in here, they'll easily be controlled if I'm able to get some traps out pretty quick. But it looks like most of the worms have dug deep because it's dry, most likely. Hold on a second. Here's another sweet potato. That there is a pot worm, two of them. But look at how well these worms are doing. I didn't even see that food at first. But that's good that they're working on the sweet potato. The other one I set to the side there so we can put it with our feeding. But first I'm going to put a nice uh, healthy layer of shredded cardboard down. If I can grab my basket here. lovely dust cloud came up from that. All right, so. Now I'm gonna add some of my dry mix. That might help control some of the flies that are in here. And it's also gonna add the grit and nutrients for our feeding. So I'm gonna do the same thing with some blended food. Let me grab it. All right, so. Doing this slowly, I just want to make sure that we're well covering this area. I think I'll probably pour a little bit more on it. I'm going to get some more paper that we can top this off with. Okay, so I spread the feeding all the way across the surface, sprinkled a little bit more of my dry mix on it. And now I have another um, nearly full basket from my shredder with shredded newspaper and cardboard and I'm putting all of it in there simply because that will block out some of these flies and create a little extra space for these worms to move up into. This is why I need to upgrade guys. Okay. So all of that is mixed in. I need to wipe some of that moisture off the wall. And I am gonna uh, wet this down, sorry about my finger, wet this down with some um, water just to make sure that it doesn't dry out again. 
So I just use my water bottle here, go all around the sides, and then I'm just gonna pop the top back on uh, with those kind of non-permeable magazines and glossy print. So I'll finish that off camera. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to follow along my journey. And I'll talk to you guys real soon for an update. I hope you have a great day.